Wait, this mod's supposed to make everything in the game explodable, but the gossip stones don't work? Seriously, what is going on? Hello everybody and welcome to another video where we'll be taking a look at the exciting Ocarina of Time open source PC port known as Ship of Harkinian. Now this project has a lot of exciting stuff in the works for it and there's so many cool features that are supposed to be added in the upcoming weeks such as right stick camera support, better item and debug options for modders, and a whole lot of extra accessibility options that will allow Ocarina of Time to be enjoyed by more people than ever before which is awesome. Awesome. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to help the algorithm know that, hey, you want to see more of this stuff. And while I'm sure I'll do some future videos on those awesome upcoming quality of life changes, for today, we're just going to watch the world burn. AKA, I've installed a mod called Allsplode version 0.2. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, that. This is precisely what could go wrong. Okay, I was about to start a new file to show this mod from the beginning, but I'm honestly just having fun rolling into this tree. Could you imagine how much more efficient Minecraft would be if we had this crap? Look, the name is fitting both because I'm going to have a lot of explosives and because I'm going to destroy the world. Whoa! So, the millisecond that I actually got control in Kakiri Forest, something exploded. I don't know what! I don't know who, but something did. Oh, hey dude, you want some help cleaning up your yard? Okay, I can help out. Do you want the rocks over here? We did it! Honestly, with this type of weaponry, what exactly do I need the sword and shield for? Come here, Mido, I got a gift for you. Damn, that annoying knee spread pose is a bit more sturdy than I thought. Hey, that rock didn't explode, it just crushed me to death. What a ripoff! I'll stay in here. But this, who, who, the, who, the, it's just expanding. Is it gonna blow up? It's just my entire view if I try and look at the sky. Oh god, it's coming for all of us. Hey, get out of here, giant bomb. We don't want you. What do you want? Wait, I can't even cut grass? Well, there goes my summer business idea. In a world as dangerous as this, a small wooden shield is exactly what I need. Oh good, the giant bomb that was devouring the entire forest appears to have been dealt with. I'm sure that'll be the last visual glitch I encounter while trying to modify a 25-year-old game. Note to self, Deku Baba's just a tiny bit dangerouser. So dangerous, I use the word dangerous, sir. It's okay, Deku Tree. We've all been there. We've all been there. Just let it out. Just let it out. His lower lip is just permanently exploding. Well, maybe he left all the bombs outside. Please don't blow up in my face. Please don't blow up in my face. Please don't blow up in my face. Please don't blow up. Oh, no. Knowledge? That's even worse. You know, exploding after you drop a heart kind of defeats the purpose. I do not accept your apology, Deku Scrub. Okay, honestly, with how delayed these explosions are, they're not so much more annoying, it's more so just satisfying that I get to kill these spiders so thoroughly. Ah, the curse of the Sculptula. You know, that tragic story about the family that got turned into spiders and their veins filled with nitroglycerin? Yeah, them. Aw, the big bad explosive boss fight. What are you gonna do, throw down a couple of your babies to do a little pops at me? Well, never mind. She's better funded than the US military. Okay, I'm a bit nervous now that the idea of just add explosives to your first boss is now an idea put out into the world. What if FromSoft hears it, guys? What if FromSoft hears it? Okay, it's kind of hard to tell on the video, but the flashing happening behind Link at the moment that's still the exploding lower lip of the Deku tree. Uns, 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 rave at the Deku tree, rave at the Deku tree. Uns, 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 rave at the Deku tree. Now it's gonna die. Why? Why is the Triforce exploding? That seems bad. That seems bad for Hyrule. You know, this scene is a lot more emotional and dramatic whenever the tree is just vomiting fire in the background. So like, should we put his corpse out before we leave or? If we're gonna be having everything else explode, 
Could we please also have this guy go too? We've made it to Hyrule Field, so we can finally start exploring this game to the fullest. And man, there's just so much stuff that could possibly explode out here. Oh my god! This is gonna get ugly. Ah, I'm not gonna make it to the pee hat before it's nighttime. Eh, well, at least there's nothing more dangerous than pee hats out here. Oh my! Okay, guys, just, just back up. Just back up, please. So did they just not program a limit on how big these guys can get? The answer appears to be no. Okay, maybe Hyrule Field's a little bit much for me right now, but oh! You made the pots in a Zelda game explosive? Okay, Owl, seriously. Find one of the randomly exploding spots in Hyrule Field and fly into it. Oh, hey. I didn't even need to kill the Sculptula myself. The tree just did it for me. Thanks, tree. Well, every time I load into this zone, there's random explosions up on the hill, so, um, Hyrule Castle's under attack. Well, I'm genuinely scared what's going to happen whenever I show Talon my chicken. Psh! This guy only shoots out one bomb? What are you, an amateur? I just wanted to know what would happen if I hurt the chicken in this mode. I didn't want it to be like this. Okay, so we all know that usually to get into Dodongo's Cavern, you need to learn how to pick up bomb flowers and then blow up this rock, but, um... Now you're playing with power. Where are all these giant bombs coming from? All right, so we do know that we can get into Dodongo's Cavern just with a regular rock, but I am curious what's gonna happen to the bomb flowers in this mode, because, you know, they're already bombs. So let's just make Darunia happy and see what happens, and well, mistakes have been made on this day. You wanna borrow this? I'm just gonna go over here. You, you take care of that. Holy crap. Oh, cool. Dodongos can explode? Oh, wait, they could already do that. So, uh, Mr. King Dodongo, sir, uh, I just had a couple questions on what your thoughts were on the new modding scene for Ocarina of Time. Uh, do you have any thoughts on all the explosives? I think he has thoughts. Ah! What the? What is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> okay, turning King Dodongo into an actually difficult fight might be one of the most devilish things I have ever encountered. What is going on? Well, it was a lot more chaotic than I'm used to playthroughs of this game being, but this mod kicks ass. Luckily though, even though a whole lot of things in game exploded, I can safely say that I didn't explode. Well, never mind. the Goron Pex came out. Guess I'm exploding after all! Hey there, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below, because apparently that helps the algorithm. Also, if you want to support the show and get your name in the credits, check out my Patreon. Love you guys!